Today we're going fishing. Welcome to another episode of the developer log of Ambel. Look, if you ever liked to fish, whether it is in video games or quote unquote real life, bear with me because you are about to be mind blown. And I'm not gonna even show you anything. That's <laughs> that's how great. I am gonna gonna show you fishing though. Fishing is finally demo demo able, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, but the best thing is that it's so so much like real life. You don't actually. Uh, actually, let's get some berries. We we can use as bait as well. Um, it's so much like real life. You get minimal feedback. So on other games, you usually get like a you know a tension bar or a, you got a hook fishes by clicking them or something that's not really fishing is it it's fishing themed just like many survival games are survival themed but you don't feel like you're really doing that so in this case we can actually um before we fish actually uh let me quickly show you here tools we have a uh, we have an improvised fishing tool and a rustic uh, fishing rod. Uh, sorry, tool rod, and a rustic fishing rod. The only difference is that they have different uh, weight limits. You can see this one is uh, up to 300 grams. This 900 grams. Um, we're gonna actually select this one for whenever we fish. And um, but here's the deal. Let's say we're gonna go fishing, and trust me, this is gonna be really cool because you're not gonna see anything. Everything is very placeholder-ish, so if we select fishing, you can see the bait again, all these temporary graphics. But uh, we're gonna actually open with some worms you can get by just digging in the ground, the right place, and there we go, we're fishing. <laughs> now the actual only feedback that you get here is um, the kind of paddle sorry like the ripple going on in front of the player uh because again I, I have like all placeholder graphics for now but you only get these three options for now uh which are reel in pretty pretty straightforward just reeling you bring your bait closer some fishes may get uh you know curious about it others may be scared away by it you can throw again that's the same thing only that it resets the the distance on which you know you threw your your bait and uh, you can pull out just to end uh, fishing altogether in case you don't have any fish. Uh, but all for now, we're just gonna wait. And uh, you're gonna say this is pretty much like fishing. It's really windy. Um, and the player, will, the character will give you some feedback once in a while. And, uh, oh, there we go. So we have something pulling. So now, this is the tricky part. This is where you're actually fishing. This is when it feels like fishing. You can reel in, right? But you don't want to overdo it. You may break the fish uh, lips, right? You don't want to leave it too, for too long. Leaving, leaving, leaving it for a while helps. You know, get the fish, the fish more hooked, right? So you can pull it out more safe, safely. But also, you know, if you leave it for too long, the fish may actually find a way to escape, or the bait may even run out. Um, and in case you don't get to pull it out, that's kind of you know sad. So uh, let's wait a little bit longer. You can see the time on the bottom left. I think that's enough. We're gonna pull out now and. Oh yes, we got an anchovy of uh, 69 grams. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, so what we're gonna do now is actually we're gonna fish again, and instead of using worms, we're gonna use a fish, and uh, we're gonna use a small one, maybe. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use a small one. Um, I mean, you you rather use a big fish, but not too big, you know, because you could you know instead eat it, and you know the more meat and there isn't that uh, fish the more energy it's gonna be worth you can see the energy in the top right in case this is your first video and um, you know fishing is really cool although you know it takes a lot of time uh, that's sort of like the where, where you're paying your due there we go uh, because it doesn't cost any energy that is, that is the cool thing this is a big one there is a chance of our rod breaking if we pull so here's like giving you uh, a feedback that this fish is over your 900 grams limit, right? Uh, but you don't know how much it is, and it could break, but it could not break. I mean, uh, the tool, um, the fishing rod. So, different areas have different size of fishes, right? Depending where you go, you're gonna find different things. Um, in this case, we have like small to medium sized fish. We're not gonna get like huge fish right here, so that is a good thing. We're gonna wait for it a little bit. We're gonna reel in now. 
you know? And again, this is more, way more like fishing. And uh, the cool thing is that I have, you've seen nothing, but it, the, the interesting thing is that the simulation underground is actually making fish uh, swim, they are eating, they are growing, they are reproducing, and they are shading their D DNA, and I'm dead serious about that. Um, you can actually exterminate an entire species of fish if you actually fish them too much. Um, it's not easy, but it's, it can happen, I mean, and uh, you can also, um, um, well, again, I mean, uh, if you splash, you, you, know, you scare some away, others are, you know, get curious, uh, some get both, um, depending on what you throw in uh, as bait, some get more interested, some get repelled, others don't care. Um, it's, it's really interesting what's going on under, under the hose, so you can sort of try to figure out what's going on, but now... I don't know if I... I we're gonna really end again. Uh, you can try to figure out what's going on, but you don't know for certain. Actually, the character actually gives you all these uh, options you can, you know, release, if you may, and maybe the fish is not hooked anymore, but you still get the option because the character doesn't have x-rays and knows everything. Um, so you can still believe there's a fish there even if there is no. no? Although, actually, even if it may break, we're gonna try to pull it out. Oh, see? Alright, so well, actually what happens is that we pulled and then we lost it, right? Uh, it could also happen that we lost it in the water, so whenever we pulled there was nothing anymore. Um, and fish are also uh, eating the bait uh, once in a while, I mean... Um, and uh, of course that is shortening the life of your bait, and, but uh, also there it's making them grow. I mean, the simulation is taking everything into account. There's way more actually uh, taken into account uh, from like rain. Uh, it's just way too much. But the good, the, the important thing here is not to actually like learn every single mechanic. It's more about like thinking like in nature, and you just take that uh, mechanic and put it into the game, and that is the interesting thing. And, uh, oh, come on, we're gonna reel in. Let's see if uh, some get interested by reeling in. Or maybe, you know, get it closer uh, to other fishes. Alright, so we finally got a bait. It took a while. Um, there's a tiny chance of a rod breaking if we pull. So this may be for about a kilogram or so. Alright, let's try to really get it right now. We're gonna reel in. Oh, I think I did it too soon. I think I did it too soon. Damn. Damn. And we pull out. Oh, yes! We did it. Oh, yes. The satisfaction of getting a fish out. Alright, so we got a salmon, and indeed it was uh, almost a kilogram. Yeah, indeed. And we're gonna actually go ahead and cook this thing, actually. And uh, we're gonna place a fire pit right here. There we go. We're gonna save because I don't trust my game. And uh, hey, it's beta testing. And uh, a hey, alpha. Pre-alpha, and uh, well, we can't cook yet, the fire is too small, we're gonna blow some wind in. And, uh, yeah, I, th I think this is good now, we're gonna inspect, it's growing larger, I think it will be fine though. And uh, we're gonna cook, uh, and we're gonna cook our salmon actually, oh look at that, one delicious whole kilogram of salmon. And we're gonna stick it in the stick, <laughs> we're gonna cook it like it is. Five minutes later. Ah, uh, we got a salmon meal. Beautiful. Now we can eat it. We have 43 uh, energy. And, uh, let's see. Uh, you can see this is pretty much like a 10 to 1 ratio on how much the weight provides you energy. So, 743 grams gives you uh, 74 energy. That is quite a lot. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna craft ourselves a knife. Here I have a, like a long rock. We're gonna compress it into a sharp stone. You can see the difference kind of there <laughs> again plays holographics the long sharp rock if we put it with a stick we get a rustic knife again plays holographic <laughs> and uh the important thing is that now we can go to tools we have the rustic knife you can see it doesn't have like a fishing or anything tag right next to it it's because it's a tool we use immediately it's not that we set it to use whenever we have the opportunity and we're going to use it to actually slice this salmon into two Right, salmon meal, meal sliced into salmon meal. It sounds repetitive, but trust me. So you can see now uh, we have two pieces of salmon meal, 37 energy eat each. So we can go ahead and eat one now, and maybe some berries, just one. And uh, 
we can just save the other piece for later and that is very important especially if you get like uh, fishes for like a kilogram and a half or even more um, so you know that is very useful and by the way the tools I think they're gonna be turning into weapons as well so you will be able to eventually use the knife as an offhand weapon or a fishing rod as a dual hand weapon in case you I guess you ran out of weapons in some point and you really need something but that's not gonna be really a good weapon bear in mind I guess we may have to leave fishing for another day but we got a nice catch today and we still have some energy left so that is pretty cool i guess um soon will be time to just go to sleep so we are probably gonna do that anyways there's more to fishing but i'm glad to finally show you some of it i hope you you have enjoyed it and before night falls i'll see you next time